GM DGENS, welcome to yet another YouTube video. It's Monday, 30th, 2023, and we have a huge week ahead of us in the Solana NFT space. We're gonna cover all of that today. This is not the week to go and take a break. So we're gonna dive right in. As always, make sure you do your own research on everything we talk about. The NFT space is incredibly risky. First off, Monday. Today, the Bonks is finally revealing Bonks, the product that came out of Omni Creative a couple of weeks ago from the team of The Fracture, previously known as Sogods. It's a community run project where a lot of artists in the space came together to make one on ones and the art for this project right after the Bonks token rally. Hype is kinda slowing down a little bit. Need to see some good volume on this post reveal. X tweeted about this. He said, no ugly bonks. This was the rule internally for Omni Creative. What happens when sideline degens waiting on the post reveal pullback gets front run by one of the cleanest PFP collections on Solana? Risky roads out there. We'll see. Hex is an absolute hype man, but I love it. Uh, exciting times for the bonks. We'll see. I could sneak some Alpa in here. Bad Trip Mask. This is a project we called in the pod at 0.4 Solana. The artist from this project, Non, Non Halley, will be featured in the Bonks collection. So could get some volume if this guy gets some attention from the Bonks. We also have the Kets on Crack Enlightenment today. I haven't seen this video. It took some time for the Kets to get this out, but I'm happy for them. You have two versions in the same NFT. That's pretty cool. Good luck, Jets. Let's get to Tuesday, 31st. We have the Mindfolk Mint. I went in depth on this product two videos ago. An OG collection on Solana, which is now merging all their collections into one 10K collection. The Capsules, which is a free mint for this product, was sitting at 10 Solana and had some good volume. Mint price is going to be 4.4 Solana. Definitely going to be minting my whitelist and take it from there. Renaissance, let's see. We also have the Zovens. Zoven. I don't know what to say this. Minting on Tuesday. Chess inspired upgradable 3D collection NFTs. Utility based and community driven. A 10k supply. Minting for 2.5 Solana. And these guys have been around for some time. They're gonna have a Rumble game. Rumble is an NFT Battle Royale. Cost one soul to participate. You can win over 6,500 Solana prices. Then they have the staking where you earn square token. You can upgrade the NFT market where you can buy blue ship NFTs, whitelist spots, NFT tools, merch, chess utilities, club membership, event tickets, then real life events and in a metaverse. Community, whale games, Project Red, so another project coming as well. Minted in Square. I saw also on here that they were gonna have here, Web3 chess game, which is pretty cool. I'm curious to see what this ROM game is as well. We have been speaking to the team. They have a very nice team. I like them. 
I'm not going to be minting nor buying secondary, but good luck if you do. A, a good chess game with some revenue share to holders would be cool to see. Still with a 10k supply, possibly even more, the rev share will be very diluted. Other than that, couldn't find anything on this oven. We'll see. Good luck to the guys. Moving on to Wednesday first, we have the Pirate Squad Mint. A pirate themed GameFi hub where players can compete in minigames, wager tokens and NFTs. Apparently you can try this game already, so I'm gonna hop on my phone and, and test it out. So I'm on my phone here trying the Pirate Squad mobile game. You shoot these little balls at the map. Um, I'm kind of blown away, honestly. I wonder, because it, it, here you have to connect it through your Phantom, like connect to the website in your Phantom mobile app. I wonder if it would be able, possible to connect it straight through App Store, because this is quite enjoyable. I'm kind of blown away by the, the game so far, compared to the other crypto games we've seen. I gotta ask the guys. This would do good in App Store as well. They do have some really cool videos as well. Overall, the team really nailed the marketing. I think they have been working a long time before posting the, the first tweet. I printed too. The hunt begins. The NFTs are gonna have some type of rev share from these um, from the game as well. Reduced fees, increased rewards, exclusive content and levels. As with anything, stay safe with degens out there. You never know. Then on Thursday we have the GigaDAO Nerds Mint. Cutting edge web3 infrastructure and product solutions the first and fastest NFT decks. These guys are building some really cool stuff, uh, starting with the uh, Giga decks. And they have a video on this as well. Familiar setup, you're probably used to it if you're using any other exchange in crypto. Uh, so let's quickly go through it on the left hand side. You can see the markets at the top, the market data. You've got so the order, order book, book trading view, box, place orders, recent trades, market order, settlement, limit order, and also the open. In their pitch deck and, and white paper, they really go in depth on the functionality. I encourage you, if you like this, like go and read the, the white paper and the pitch deck. The first collection is sitting at 43.9 Solana. And then the whitelist token for the Nerds Mint is sitting at 5.145. So, I don't know, still validity to this product already. Uh, I'm excited for this one. So that is a little bit on what's happening in our Salami NFT space in the coming week. For getting access and insights to these products early on, our Discord is probably one of the best places to be. We usually get straight up whitelist to hand to our community members, and if not, we could guide them on where to get it. So that is what I personally use, and as of right now, it is private. We are hand selecting members as we go. So leave a comment and let me know that you're interested. We're also going to drop a new way for everyone else to get access in the near future. So make sure you follow us on Twitter, because that is where we're going to drop it. We're also live on Spaces at 2 p.m. EST, Monday through Friday. Hope you liked this video. Hope to see you in Discord. See you all next time. Ciao.